All right, David Harry here. Now, have you got an Amazon Fire TV Stick 4K, which is absolutely doing your head in because it is stuck in a boot loop? If so, this video may help you out. But before I get into this, just a massive shout out to another YouTube channel. And the reason for this is because I've got to be straight up. This is not my idea. It is somebody else's that I've copied. And the other channel is The Real. There'll be a link here to The Real's channel and in the descriptions below. So if this video helps you out and gets you out of the pickle that it's going to get me out of, then I suggest you go to that channel, give this person a subscription and a massive thumbs up for what they've done. Don't give them to me, give them to somebody else because this is not my idea. Anyways, what I'm going to do now is explain a bunch of stuff before I get into this and it is going to be a bit boring, but you need to know these things. However, there is a menu in the actual descriptions to this video taking you to some of the sections and what have you, so you can skip through as soon as you understand the process. So basically, what I'm going to be doing here is connecting a keyboard to the Fire TV stick. Now, the only way to do this is to use an OTG powered cable, which basically means you can send power and a USB signal down the same cable from peripherals such as keyboards. I will actually be doing some videos to do with OTG cables and hubs and stuff and powered hubs and things like that. But right now I'm going to use a very simple cable and that will just take one USB input and merge it with the power for the Fire TV stick. Also as well, what you're going to have to do here is go through a little bit of jiggery pokery with the keyboard, which I will explain shortly. Now, there are other ways to try and fix a Fire TV stick, 4K or otherwise, um, by using ADB debugging and stuff like that. But the only problem with that particular process is, although it might be easier because you don't need this extra cable, the problem is, unless your Fire TV stick was actually plugged into the computer that you were going to use and it was authorized to that computer, you can't do the ADB, ADB debugging with it. So this for me is kind of like the final and last straw, although it is the easiest option as well. So what I'm gonna do right now is just show you an example of what I mean by the boot loop. And for anyone who doesn't understand what this is, it's when you power on the Fire TV stick, stick what will happen is you'll get a black screen then it'll go to the white screen with the logo and it never reaches the menu so what it'll do it'll carry on going around in that little loop cycle forever so what i'm going to do now is just quickly show you how this looks so what we're looking at right now is this boot loop going on and as we can see it's just simply going from the black screen through to a couple of those white backgrounds with various things on to do with the amazon logo and same fire tv and stuff at which point you should expect it to go to the menu but it doesn't it just keeps going back and looping around doing the same thing now it could be the case that all you need to do is swap out maybe your usb cable that's connected from the fire tv stick to your power supply or even swap out the power supply because sometimes it is a case that it might just be them that's broken but what we're looking at here if yours looks like this it is highly likely to be the boot loop so the process that i'm about to do is basically going to put the fire tv stick 4k into safe mode and then i will do a reset Okay, so now that we've seen that my Fire TV Stick 4K is stuck in this boot loop and there's nothing I can do to get out of it, what I'm going to do now is show you the setup to do with the cable and how you wire it all in. So the first thing to show is the powered OTG USB cable. So this end here, this plugs into the Fire Stick. It breaks out into two separate parts here. This part has got a USB-A input so we can plug the keyboard in. And then this part here has got a micro USB on it so we can plug the power into there. And then of course we have got a USB keyboard. In this instance, this one is a hardwired one. And here is its USB socket at the end of the cable. So here's all the bits that we have to put together. And the first thing to do is to plug the powered OTG cable into the Fire Stick. So what we do, we take this end of the cable and then we just pop that into the fire stick like that then what we do we get the power for the fire stick and then we plug it into the micro socket on the otg powered cable there we get that the right way around 
And then finally what we do, we just plug the USB keyboard into the USB-A on the OTG powered cable. So what happens is we end up with something that looks exactly like that. And then what we do then, we just plug that into the monitor or TV and then away we go. Okay, so now that we've seen how everything has to be kind of physically connected and stuff in order to do this, what I'm going to do now is show you the gymnastics you're gonna have to do on your keyboard and the button presses you'll have to do in order to make this work. So what I'm gonna show you right now are all the keys on the keyboard that you have to hold in simultaneously as the Fire TV Stick 4K switches on. So those keys are Control, Alt, this menu button here, Print Screen, and I. So the way that I go about this is like this. One, two, three, four, five. So that is exactly what I'm going to do when I power on the Fire Stick. Okay, so now that we know all the physical connections we have to do, and also all them weird button presses on the keyboard, I'm now going to get on with this and let's fix my Fire TV stick. All right, so here is the setup. Now, this looks a little bit mad, but it has to because it's the only way that I can kind of do this. So what I'm gonna do, there's all the cable in there. I'm just gonna throw this into the TV stick, which is in the back of this monitor, and then try and attempt to catch the keys as it powers up. So give us a sec. Hold on. Okay, so cables in. So control, alt, menu, print screen, and I. Okay, so it's powered up. Hopefully <laughs> it's doing the right thing. <laughs> Right, hold on. So this is about normally where it's gonna mess up. Okay, so let's see what happens after this. Is it gonna work? Oh, come on, please work. <laughs> oh no. Oh, is it gonna work? Oh, don't cycle. Oh, there we go, brilliant. Right, as we can hopefully see in the corner here, now it's saying safe mode, so this has worked. Give me one second just while I now point the camera at the screen. Okay, so I've now got the camera pointing straight at the monitor. It should help us see things a bit more. So as you can see, in the bottom left corner here, we're in safe mode. Now, I do plan on doing a complete reset of this only because I'm not too sure what kind of put it in the boot loop in the first place. It might've been an APK that I loaded onto it. I don't know yet. But what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna go to settings and then I'm going to do a reset or restart. So not reset, but restart. And then there we go, so restart. I'm just interested to know if it's actually gonna work off a restart, so power on off and then power on back on again. So let's just see what happens here, because I don't know if it's gonna go back looping again. Hopefully it doesn't, and if it doesn't, it just might mean that this fixes it. Although like I say, I'm still gonna do a total reset anyway, only because, yeah, you know, I'd, I'd, I'd feel a lot safer myself just doing a total reset, because like I said, I've been putting stuff on it which may have caused it, I don't know yet. So this is the point where it should start looping if it's not working. So let's see. Hmm, actually it might take another few seconds, let's see. Nah, it's gone looping again by the looks of it. Okay, let me just give this one one more little look through. Yeah, so I think what happens is when we go into safe mode, it looks like it hasn't fixed it for me. So what I'm gonna do is obviously go back to safe mode and stuff again. Oh, we are, wait there, right. It's gone in, but that looked like it was messing about a little bit, so I'm not entirely sure whether that's gonna be fine. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna speed massively dead fast through me doing a complete reset on it. So give us a second. Because like I say, it might be the case that it may work a little bit, maybe once you've come into safe mode and then try to kind of get it running again. But for me, yeah, I would rather just kind of reset it all. So let's see, factory reset. 
Okay. Right, so that's going to reset. So what I'm going to do is just basically, if I can, I'll fast forward through this. If not, I'll just jump and come back after it's done it. Okay, so that's it. Now come back after the complete reset from bringing it back from the boot loop. And again, just quickly, just to be thorough about this, and it's always worth doing it, let me just try uh, like switching it off and on again. So hold on, give us a second. Hold on, if I could just use the remote properly, it'd really help. <laughs> right, so come along to my Fire TV and then let's do restart. This restart is, is just a power cycle. It's not like, you know, the redoing everything on this stick. So let's see what happens here. Hopefully this is gonna boot back up with absolutely no problems whatsoever. So let's see. Okay, it does take a little while these things. And like I say, what I'm doing here right now is just being thorough. And you know, cause a lot of people wanna know these things as well. I know it takes a bit of time to do it and it's a bit boring and stuff, but you know, there's no shortcuts to these things cause I am trying to show people that it definitely works, you see. So hopefully it doesn't start looping here. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Okay, so it might do the white screen one more time, I think. No, straight to the menu. Okay, well, as far as I'm concerned, that's all great. Okay, so there we go then. I have now fixed my Fire TV stick from boot looping back to normal. And don't forget as well, this was not my idea. I copied this from The Real. So if you do this yourself and it fixes your Fire TV stick 4K, then definitely if you want to show any appreciation, go to The Real's channel and give The Real a big thumbs up and also subscribe to The Real's channel. There'll be a link to The Real's channel in the descriptions of this video and at the end of this video as well. Now, although I've done this on a Fire TV Stick 4K, it may work on other versions of the TV sticks as well. I'm not entirely sure, but if you've got an earlier one, you might wanna try this out for yourself anyway, because if it does bring it back to life, it'll be worth the small expense of getting that extra cable. And also don't forget as well, that extra cable that you're gonna get hold of is actually mega useful for a bunch of other stuff. Now on that point as well, I'm going to be doing a whole bunch of videos to do with like the Amazon tablets and stuff and the fire sticks and stuff like that. Showing various things you can do with them, say with keyboards and mice, external storage and things like that, mirroring one thing to another, connecting like, you know, controllers and stuff such as PlayStation controller and things like that, which is very conveniently placed on the table because I've been doing stuff with this. Okay, so yeah, call back for stuff like that if you're into all that kind of thing. And also as well, links in the descriptions below for all the stuff that I've used in the video. All righty, it's about time for me to get off now because I need to go and do some mirroring and recording of my tablets to me HDMI inputs on my computer via the TV stick which is what I was trying to do this morning but couldn't because this was in a boot loop anyways I'm off because I talk too much I'm David Harry thank you very much for watching this video take care and goodbye now